been wanting to build on our second cornerstone here, the idea of finding that intimate connection with your body. And my heart keeps speaking to me and um, what it's telling me is to give you this little message to remind you that your body will never respond to you as long as you are treating it with anything less than kindness. I myself have had a very tumultuous relationship with my body over the years. Um, it's, it's been rather unhealthy at times, to be perfectly honest. And uh, that inner voice, the way that I talk to myself, and I hear so many women talk to themselves this way, you know, saying how they just don't like the way that they look, or, you know, they're usually much harsher than, than that, even in the words that they choose to say to themselves or when they describe themselves. You can hear it in the change room, in stores, you know, you can hear it uh, when people are going to the beach, trying on bathing suits, that sort of thing, you know. Even myself, it was like I would always dread, just dread having to go out you know, bra shopping, bathing suit shopping, you know, all of those things. Um, and I just wasted so many years avoiding the camera, for example, avoiding, you know, wearing certain clothes, all of that sort of thing, because my mind was telling me something that wasn't true. And regardless of what our physical body actually looks like, what our mind tells our body is gonna have a huge impact on how our body responds to anything that we try to do to change our health. You know, it's the same way when you talk to a child or a loved one with a loving voice, they're going to listen and respond much more likely than they will if you're harsh and critical and judgmental and um, you know, just, just hurtful with your words that is the same relationship um, situation that you have with your own body. So really consider that and um, think about how you talk to yourself. Your body's going to respond so much better health-wise when you speak to yourself with kindness. And I know it's hard to do at first. It's hard to make that shift. So it's really kind of a really lovely exercise if you can start to look back and appreciate all the things that your body has done for you. You know, I've just come back from doing a workout and I think that's what made me, um, you know, really want to share this with you at this moment is because I am 53 years old now and I have been going to do some workouts with, um, you know, a group that I feel safe with right now, uh, you know, that we have lots of space and uh, they're quite a bit younger than I am. and. Um, I, I just realized, you know what, like I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm really doing okay. And I'm sure that you're doing okay too. And even if you're not feeling so okay right now, we always have the ability, as long as we are breathing, to take a step in the direction that we want to be in. So find the ways that you can be grateful for your body and what it does. You know, if you love to dance, it's so awesome that you can. If you love to, you know, just play and um, you know do different sports whatever it is kayaking swimming you know all these great summer activities please don't avoid them because you have this negative talk from between your head and your body let your heart take over and let yourself be really loving in your approach to your physical self especially um, I think a lot of times what happens is our mindset is formed at a young age because of something somebody says to us at some time and it could be the smallest thing but it sits with us and it festers within us and it grows and we believe it and we start to tell ourselves those stories over and over and over again and then all the stuff on life piles on top of it and we start to feel overwhelmed with our emotions and then we believe that you know our bodies are not beautiful, our bodies are not functional, our bodies are not, you know, um, what they're supposed to be in society. And we tend to punish ourselves that way. And we do it often, oddly, through food or through things that make our body feel less healthy. So that's that beginning phase of creating that intimate connection is first of all, allowing for your mind to shift into more kindness. Find the things about yourself that you love. Find the things about your body that you love, ways that it allows you to move, activities that it allows you to do that just feel so good and so joyful and really bring you such happiness. And then start to pay attention to the times that you don't. 
you know, that you're, that when you eat a certain way or when you don't sleep or when you're overstressed or when you don't move or whatever it is that starts to make you feel a little less comfortable in your own skin. Notice what those things are. That's the intimate connection. But we need to decipher between our own negativity influencing that and actually what's happening. So the first shift is to just be kind. Be so sweet and kind to yourself. Don't talk to yourself in any way that you wouldn't talk to your friend. Because I know when you go out with your friend to try on bathing suits or dresses or whatever, you would never say the things to them that they say to themselves. Be your own best friend. Be your own biggest cheerleader, your own supporter. And really understand that all the things that you're telling yourself about your body is often very much untrue. We we create this dysmorphia in our minds. We see ourselves as, you know, much different than the rest of the world sees us. And we need to really apply the eyes of some, but something more, someone more loving. And um, that's really a strong message I think I wanna get across when it comes to this creating another cornerstone, another um, foundational pillar of um, self-worth so that we can move forward in a way that is sustainable because if we don't change those thoughts, no matter what we do, our bodies are not going to trust us. You're going to go, yeah, but you really don't like me very much. So there's something wrong. There's something wrong fundamentally at the core of my soul. If, if you don't, if you don't love me, you know, if you don't love your own body. So in order to get the response from your body that you want, you need to shift your mind in order to shift your mind. You need to change the patterns. And to do that, one of the ways that you can start is, as I mentioned, just start to focus on the things that you do love. You know, if maybe it's just your smile today. You know, maybe it's your eyes. Maybe it has nothing to do with anything like, you know, down below the neck sort of thing. But start somewhere and start to just create a way to think about yourself that is loving. Think about the movement that you love and um, see if that helps to just kind of guide you into a more positive way of moving and thinking and feeling about yourself. Okay, thanks.